The Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of man. And when he had brought her to the man, the man said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. A wife of a noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and this company to join this man and woman. Who gives Renee Rogers to be married to Jamal Collins? Say I do. Flex our hand into his hand. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the joy and the happiness that marks this occasion. We thank you for the tender love that Renee and Jamal shares. We thank you for the many people who have gathered here today to witness this love and to celebrate their marriage. Jamal, before God and these witnesses, will you, Jamal Collins, take Renee Rogers to be your wife? Will you love and comfort her, honor and keep her, and in joy and sorrow, preserve her with her this bond, holy and unbroken, until the Lord, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, or as long as you both shall live? If so, say I will. Before God and these witnesses, will you, Renee Rogers, take Jamal Collins to be your husband? Will you love and comfort him, honor and keep him in joy and sorrow, preserve with him this bond, holy and unbroken, until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, or as long as you both shall live? Say, I will. Now we're going to share our, they're going to share their own wedding vows. We'll start with you, Jamal.
You know me better than anyone else in this world, and somehow still you manage to love me. You are my best friend and one to love. There is still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm marrying, I'm the one who's getting married to you. I promise to support you, support your dreams, to respect our differences, and to love you, be by your side, through night and day, all of our lives. Amen. Come on, you can praise the Lord for that. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Renee. To my Jamal, nobody in the world could have ever told me when I stopped you that afternoon of Brian Avenue in 2006 and asked you to buy me a Pepsi. Ten years later, you would be my husband. I thank God I was thirsty at that moment. <laughs> and as I stand here today as your wife, I want to say I was thirsty that day, I'm thirsty today, and I will forever be thirsty for your love until death do us part. I love you. Wow. Beautiful vows. Can we have the wedding rings? Wedding rings serve as a fitting symbol of the vows you have just spoken. Let us pray. I pray the Lord will bless these rings which Jamal and Renee have set apart to be visible signs of the inward and spiritual bond which unites their hearts. This circle will now seal the vows of their marriage and will be a symbol of their love. As they give and receive these rings, may they testify to the world of the covenant made between them here. Please place the ring and repeat after me. Give this ring in token of our marriage vows. May it ever be a symbol of our unbroken bond of our love. And now, Renee, please place the ring on Jamal's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring in token of our marriage vows. May it ever be a symbol of our unbroken bond of our love. Let us pray. Lord, we just thank you and pray for goodness and your mercy. We thank you and praise you for Lord, I pray right now that you would just God with your blood, God. I pray that you just be with them. I pray that you give them wisdom and understanding through all the things that go through and trials and tribulations in life, God. I just pray that you would just continue to let them lean on one another, God. Just be with them as only you can. Wrap your arms around them, God. Whatever they stand in need, may they be able to look to you because we know that our help comes from you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. By the authority vested in me and the representatives of the state and a minister of the gospel, and because of the vows that was made in the presence of these witnesses, it is my joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Mr. Jamal Collins, you may kiss your bride. Amen. The one thing I just want to say is that definitely when someone gets married, we need to support them and pray for them. And during this time, you know, there are trials and tribulations that people go through. And I can say to Jamal and Renee, the one advice that I can give you is keep it in the house. Keep it in the house. It's nice that you have friends and family, but it's important that you continue to you know, work with each other and maintain your love and don't let anyone come in and interfere or break the bond that was spoken here today. I thank the Lord for each and every one of you that has come 
I love you, Renee. I love you, Jamal. I wish you many, 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 many years. I wish to stand before and renew your wedding vows. I love you. Give me a hug. Let us all stand. Mr. and Mrs. Jamal Renee Collins. I'm blown.